Welcome to Rogue World and this is uh, a quick beginners tutorial on uh, how to configure network uh, settings uh, both static and dynamic on Kali Linux. So this video is completely on configuring network adapter uh, on Kali Linux uh, with both dynamic and static uh, you know settings. So to start with this video let's quickly go through uh, access the Kali Linux uh, machine. So let me log into my machine. So once you logged in, uh, first thing you need to check is your, uh, you know, Ethernet configuration. So if you can see here, I'm connected uh, on the wired network, wired channel. So I do have a wireless, but then I opted it for a uh, wired connection. So um, first thing is we need to check the wired connection and it's uh, the IP address assigned to the machine. So uh, on this tutorial, I'll what I'll do is I'll split this uh, uh, screen, I mean the terminal into two because uh, we might have to multitask at certain time. So I'm just, uh, you know, splitting it up. So let's on the second uh, terminal, I'll type if config. So that exactly shows what is my IP uh, address and uh, so on. So the command here is if config, right? If config and if suppose you want to specify one adapter, say if you can see Ethernet zero, ETH zero and loopback. So if you don't want to see this particular part and you want to only see this, then all you need to do is if config again, ETH zero, that's it. And you will only see ETH zero, this particular part right so that's one way to only specify and extract ip info on one particular adapter so let me go with if config again um i i would rather just suggest i have both i'm sorry again off oh. all right so now uh, now that we have <coughs> the ip address over here and the net mask and the broadcast IP. These are the IP details. So the first thing to uh, do here is that uh, go to uh, the configuration file of Ethernet adapter. So uh, what it exactly does, what, what do we do on the configuration file is that uh, you can check whether this ad IP address, which is assigned over here is a DHCP based IP or a static based IP, or you can even uh, configure your Ethernet adapter to work on a dynamic and static mode from the configuration file. So to do that, you just need to uh, use a default editor on Kali Linux. So the default editor here is nano. Then where exactly is the, f you know, the configuration file is etc. etc is a folder where you'll have the file then followed by network and then interfaces hit enter this is the ethernet conf ethernet uh, configuration file i uh, can see like it is auto loopback and i phase 2 inet loopback so uh, eventually no nothing specified over here so what we need to do is specify things so uh, i will exit this uh, screen let me clear this out so now uh, i have to make my adapter to work on a dscp mode so to do that uh, this is the command which you have to use first echo then followed by I face space Ethernet zero that's our adapter over here this is what I want to make DHCP then init <coughs> I N E T D H C P. Right. So, where do you want to write this file? That is also is pretty much important. You write it to E T C network interface. So this is where you write. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed this. So interfaces. So this is the command to make your eth0 work 
on DSCP mode and you have to write this uh, configuration set on ETC network interface so that is what exactly we are trying to do so let's hit enter all right so again I missed a slash over here all right now it is IP60 so the problem is again the first one eco so I always miss out a H on the eco so probably that's the reason it didn't work out for me so now let's edit to go to the ethernet configuration file which is nano then etc network interfaces so now you can see if phase is ethernet 0 is configured to use DHCP so on the configuration file this has got reflected All right so we have made the necessary change now uh, you don't have to save this any which ways it's already saved so you can just exit from this com uh, nano editor and eth config file so now let's clear the screen so now that we have made it to work on a DSCP mode what we will do next so uh, you you would actually see that we are done DSCP so any which ways it's in a DSCP mode that's that is not a big myth it's very easy when you uh, you configure an adapter it automatically takes uh, a DSCP IP address if provided but when it comes to static is what a lot of configurational changes is required on the Ethernet adapter for Kali Linux so first thing which we're going to do now is do a configurational change on Ethernet adapter with manual it means no, no DSCP now I will disable DSCP and I'll start configuring my Ethernet adapter manually so to do that these are the steps the first one is you have to type if config space which adapter and then space what is the IP address we want to set so now currently the DSCP IP is say 114 now I, I'll need to reset this IP to 192.168.0. I'll use uh, 50, right? So this is the manual IP I'm going to set. Hit enter. So now just go back to the other terminal and it's zero. You can see this was our previous IP, which is 114, and now the IP address has changed to 198. 192.168.0.50 so the same way if you want to configure a net mask put the same configuration then net mask space 255.255.0.0 so I'm just making a small change here uh, so I just clear the screen and I'm doing this again so you can see uh, the IP in net mask uh, I suppose this time it took it because uh, post the manual configuration of IP the network adapter was uh, you know uh, not the service was not working so uh, eventually it came back now uh, when I type if config 192.168.0.50 and it masks this I suppose it got uh, applied so let's again check uh, eth sorry if config eth0 you can see the submit mask also change so initially the submit mask was 255.255.255.0 and now it is 255.255.0.0 and the IP address is also changed right so this is the first step that you change the IP and the net mask so instead of applying this together you can also apply the same configuration one ta one one go like if config 80 the preferred IP then the net mask and the preferred net mask so I will change the net mask again because I I want to keep it this way now uh, if I see the net mask has come back and changed so let me clear the screen here I'm not going to clear it on the second terminal I'm going to clear it on the first terminal so the next one is the default gateway to add the default gateway now you have to type a route add uh, default gateway 
192.168.0.1 that's going to be my default gateway so if you in, in your case some other IP address you can still add whatever IP you want so you have to have the preferred gateway uh, you know properly configured um, all right so let me try this command again yeah so it is it's been added so route add default gateway this is how you add the default gateway so now to check the route added let's do this small quick command route space hyphen n so we'll give you the default gateway address over here all right so default gateway uh, address is added on the route now that we have added uh, let's move on to the next is adding dns to the uh, manual configuration so first is ip address subnet mask then we added default gateway now we'll ha add both preferred and alternate dns to the network adapter let me clear the screen and now i'll add the default gateway to add the name server type echo echo then name server let's say the name server address is 8.8.8.8 the global dns and you have to write this uh, to the configuration file which is etc resolve resolve dot right so hit enter so the same way add the alternate dns server as well so you change the ip the alternate dns server ip is 4.4.4.4 .4 .4 .4 .4 and you will write this to etc resolve conf all right so you can go to route hyphen n and check if you have a gateway address configured and you can see the gateway address is configured and now that we have confirmed that gateways are configured now we'll check whether dns is configured so nano where did we write it etc resolve resolve dot conf right i suppose i made a mistake in the spelling all right so you can see here there are two name servers configured one is 8.8.8.8 the second one is 4.4.4.4.4 so the main important point to note here is when i did echo name server i write this name server to this file first one i did one you know uh, first one you'll have only one uh, symbol over here and then the second one i made two symbols so that you write if you don't overwrite the first one you do this as a secondary dns server so let's clear the screen uh, let's say if we are able to browse google.com so I'm able to ping google.com so so all you need to do now is try the name resolution because we have configured global DNS so uh, IP IP based or you know you, you done google.com the name to IP you can also do IP to name so let me say 216.58 199.142 so the dns works and now let me browse um, so post upgrade i suppose i lost my browser so in the last video i did an upgrade so i i couldn't configure the browser so when you type firefox it automatically comes up but then uh, post configuration <clears throat> there is a problem with the browser itself so i'm i've used the uh, uh, web browser defaultly available for uh, trying this so i have the browser open so the browser is open and uh, i can type some
so I want to try this DuckDuckGo so I enter the web address and let's see whether we are able to browse it so now we can see we are able to browse so we are running on a static IP and uh, you know we, we are able to browse through internet so this is how we configure a static IP address and you know on a Kali Linux box though I have shown you a uh, gist of uh, DHCP but then now you can go step by step on configuring static IP for your Kali Linux and you know using them uh, using these configurations which I have mentioned in the tutorial to uh, reconfigure your OS and one more important thing is that all the steps which I have performed and the command and you know its uh, use will be mentioned in the description below you guys can copy and use the same commands whenever you are trying the same uh, steps on your Kali Linux machine and in case you are not able to figure out a way or you get stuck somewhere do leave a comment I will definitely try to help you out to get out of this you know configuration issues and this video is completely for educational purpose so I always say this in the description as well so please do not use this videos for any unethical purposes like hacking so please keep safe and try this in a safer environment so this is Rogwal signing off thank you Thank you.